<laughs> yeah, but we don't need this is already friends. starting off great, man. Hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. My name is John Durant. Welcome to Beer That Tastes Like Beer. I am here with the Quarter Munch brothers, Patrick and Dwight. <coughs> yes. That's uh, as you can see, this is not the first beer of the evening, but we are going to talk about it nonetheless. Anyway, what are you fellas drinking tonight? Uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but currently, Killian's. And some summer wheat. Nice, Dwight. Nice. Why limit yourself to one beer? That's true. That's very true. All right, Patrick. Then you. Uh... He definitely has not limited it himself to just one beer I the whole night. I never limit myself to just one beer. Me, on the other night. hand, I am cracking open a good old local favorite, uh, Flying Dog Numero Uno, mm -hmm. and I figure, seeing as we almost got up to eighty degrees today, it was a good way to kind of remind us that summer is eventually going to get here, probably sooner than we think. Yeah, you know why I call it Flying Dog? Why do they call it Flying Dog? Because if it was good beer, the dog would stay. Oh. How do you know the dog's not flying to the beer? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Poor Frederick, poor Frederick. <laughs> right in the gut. Right in the gut. Yes, right. that is exactly where that beer he's chugging is going. Right to his gut. It's I think it went straight to the liver, actually. <laughs> liver, <laughs> gut. Mm. So tell me about that... Uh, what you got there? What? Why is it a summertime beverage? Well, it's basically Corona, but good. Corona, but good. Exactly. Right. I mean, it flavored up a little bit of agave, so it's got a nice sweet flavor to it. You know, a lot of things that people are looking for now in the summer is, you know, the fruity-ish, sweet, not the overly heavy, you know, good Guinnesses. Don't get me wrong, Guinness is great, but some people, not me, but some people shy away from a Guinness on a hot summer day. Okay. And then there's this right. ginger squatch. I'm drinking a Killian's. Killian's. Because I needed a light beer. If you can see through it, it's a light beer. It's a light beer. Okay. All right, very good. Actually, if you can see through it, it's water. Partially. Partially. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now, what, uh, what kind of uh, beer is Killian's? Killian's is an Irish red. Irish red. What, what makes an Irish red distinct from other beers? That you've had, like for compared to a porter, or well, anything. it's going to be a much lighter body than a porter. Um, okay. But yeah, like I said, it's a it's a light beer. It, when you want a full body beer, something to to really just enjoy that 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 full crafted flavor. You get a loaf beer. of bread. Yeah, and then then I drink it. So, but but th this is this is more more, more like a, a slice of bread, and, and I'll drink it. Slice of bread. No, and you've had about a loaf or two of bread today so far. Well, yes, but but that's not right now. Right now, I'm having a slice of bread. Mm. About time. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta have the loaf first. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Numero uno. Agave cerveza. Lager brewed with agave nectar and a lime oh and with lime zest added. I think that lime means zest. they scrape the they peel. They scrape the peel right off of it and put it in the beer. Do you think they do that with each one or is it like in a vat? I'm betting everything going on here is going on in a vat. I no, they got to do it in each one. Or filter it, actually. No, no. It's probably going on in someone's bathtub, but at least it's not George Killian's bathtub. Mm, that's a good point. That's a good point. Now, you've got another beer here, Dwight. Why, why are you drinking two? What's, what's with that? You never limit yourself to one beer? Yes. Never, never no. limit yourself to one no. beer. No, it's true. It's true. Okay. This is uh, a serious problem. Th this is where I have to go and throw down a challenge. Uh-oh. We need to see you double barrel. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh. Just for a few seconds. One good swig, double barrel that. <laughs> and this is internet history being made. Congratulations, <laughs> your video is now viral. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Yes. And if it's not, it should have been. Yeah, yeah, just let us exactly. down. Oh, so, um, so you were talking about your first drink. Indeed. Tell me about that. Well... Oddly enough, it was George Killian's Bathtub Brew, okay. also known as Irish Red, mm -hmm. and it was my... dog didn't run away. Fly, sir. Fly. And he flew away from George Killian's uh, bathtub water to, you know, Frederick, where he you know, got some more beer. Mm -hmm. Now, anyway, uh, it was uh, about 2 in the morning on my actual 21st birthday. Okay. Up until then, of course. You know, so you were 21 for two hours? Two hours. Okay. Near as we can tell. Near as we can tell. Okay. Um, so here we are in a 
of all things, a karaoke bar in Manassas. We did not do the karaoke. Not enough to drink yet. Right. No. Um, the reason we were at a karaoke bar in Manassas at 2 in the morning is my mother was insistent on buying me my first legal beer mm -hmm. uh, ever. Okay. Up until this point, I'd done a lot of wine, scotch, mead, whiskeys, everything but beer. And I do not condone underage drinking in any way, shape, or form. Unless you're in Great Britain, and then, you know, then... You didn't say where you drank them, actually. That's a good point. That is a good point. Yes. I, I was clearly out in, open ocean, in the open ocean. Yes. Obviously. But, so, with that regard, my mother did buy me my first uh, beer. It was a George Killian's. To make the night even more awkward, there is a man probably 20 years junior to her who was trying to pick her up. Oh! Hey, look, equal opportunity, man. Equal opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, you know... Props to mom for turning them down. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, um, was this your decision on, on the George Killians, or was this mom's decision? This was my decision. Was I was not going to go with a butt wiper or anything else. I've already understood very clearly that drinking a light beer is a lot like making love in a canoe. Now, explain to me, what do you mean by butt wiper? Budweiser. I, Budweiser. No, no, it's, it's actually, they just mispronounce it. It is butt wiper. It is butt wiper. But yeah. Budweiser is a, uh, is a national icon of beer. It's, so you're saying Only because beer. we forgot how to make beer during Prohibition. Oh. I mean, for God's sake, it's made with rice. You know what's made with the rice? What's made with rice? Sake, which is better than butt wiper. Okay. Because that's good rice that could have been made into sake instead of butt wiper. So what you're saying is we should serve uh, Budweiser hot. No, I'm saying we should just pour Budweiser down the drain and get a real yeah. fucking beer. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Um... Okay. You know, this is going to be demonetized now just because of that statement. That's it. That's it. All right. It's all going downhill. It's all going downhill. Now, um, just here's... telling you, you want to buy American, buy local. Buy local. That's Budweiser true. Budweiser is in Beth. That's the other thing, too, is, of course, buying local is you're saving on, on carbon footprint with that. So it's, it's a local beer. It's not being shipped across the country. You're helping the environment by drinking local. I was thinking and you're supporting sure the local we, economy. Ex that's the bigger thing, is that the local economy. you got to have, the more beer that's local, the better. Sure. But what if you just want more beer? Well, there's always more beer locally. We've got all sorts of craft breweries here locally. Clearly, you haven't spent much time with me. We've got Brewer's Alley. Mm -hmm. Monocacy. Monocacy. I've not yet been to that one. Of course, Flying Dogs we spoke of. Flying mm -hmm. what? Flying Dog. Flying... Dog, dog, dog. Bark, 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 bark. So anyway, I think we're nearly out of time. This is going to short little gambit into the uh, the realm of uh, liver punishment. <laughs> liver punishment. Yes, but I'd like to thank you both, uh, Patrick, Dwight. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for sharing a uh, a. I guess this isn't a pint officially. It's twelve ounces, but nonetheless, here's to beer. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It's fucker French. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, we're French.